Hey what's up guys, my name is Brendan and today I want to talk you guys through a box cutter progression. Now guys, if you like the tutorials I make, whether it be the box cutter, the cheat 9, the TDR, if you like those tutorials, I suggest you check out the apprentice level of patronage. You send me a clip of you doing some skills, and then I make you a personalized tutorial with that information. It's really cheap compared to the other methods that are out there, and it's a great way for you guys to support me making these tutorials for everyone, while also getting something for yourself. Now, progression is a set of skills that bring you towards a goal. Now, the goal in this one is a box cutter, so I'm going to go through a couple skills that if you work really hard at, and if you train really well, will give you your box cutter in no time. Now the first step in the progression is to master your gainer. Get really comfortable with it. You want your gainer to be safe, consistent, and clean. Now I don't mean pointed toes clean, you don't have to make it perfect. But if you can land your gainer 100 out of 100 times, safely and consistently, then you're ready to work box cutter. I don't recommend people usually train it before they get through that step. So go back, make sure your gainer is nice, clean, and safe. Now once you guys feel like your gainer is really safe, what I want you to do is just hook. Now all you're doing is landing and flopping your left leg. That hook can be as clean or as dirty as you want. Put your personality into it. I don't care as long as you are safe. Safety is the big thing. I see a lot of people walk out of box cutters with twisted ankles, with hurt legs, because their gainer hook wasn't as good as it could be. So make sure your gainer is safe and your hook is exactly where you want it. Because your hook, when you gain your hook, is going to be the same hook you get when you do a box cutter. So keep that in mind as you train it. Now the next step in the progression is taking your cork and making it into a hyper cork. If you're doing a cork with one leg straight or both legs straight, the only change I'm going to make is a slight tuck. I want you to bring your right leg in. Not only your left, but also your right, your swing leg. Now don't bring it in right off the ground. Complete that swing motion and then tuck that leg in along with the left. What that's going to do is it's going to flip you and get you into the hyper positioning. And you're going to land just like you would out of your gainer. And if you have a gentle landing when you gainer, you should have a very gentle landing when you hyper cork. And that's going to keep you from getting injured. Because injury is no fun and people get injured a lot on box cutters. Now the last step of this progression is to take your hyper cork, that little crunchy cork you did that landed just like a gainer, and make it a gainer hook or a moon kick. You're going to take your moon kick, and you're going to take your hyper cork, and you're going to put them together, and that's what makes a cork hyper hook. So, just swing that leg up, tuck yourself in, extend that right leg, don't lock out your knee, but bring that hook right across, just like you would for a moon kick. These skills aren't different. The only difference between a moon kick and a cork hyper hook is a twist. Now that you've done the progression and you have a box cutter, now you just have to master it. Find a hook you really like. I like the look of a Taekwondo based style hook where you have a lot of hip turnover, a good amount of rechamber, but I also really like Bailey Payne's hyper hook where he shoots his leg out really long and just drags it across the sky. Your hyper hook can show a lot about yourself. There's this old video, I'll link it in the description, where someone just took a bunch of box cutters and put them in a compilation video, so that way you can see the different style everybody has with this skill. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you want a personalized tutorial, check out the apprentice level of patronage. There's also a lot more like gathering attendee, which is only $15. And if you sign up for that level of patronage, if you attend any of these gatherings, I'll get a one-on-one -on -one private lesson with you. We can talk, we can make sure you have the progressions you need to get the skills you want safely. So that way when you land them, you can be consistent. And that's all it takes, guys.